I've seen water cool GPUs clearly overkill but kind of fun. Water cool GPUs are actually the furthest thing from overkill. For many people, water cooling their CPUs is what is actually overkill. When looking at cooling needs, a common misconception is to look at the temperature in Celsius, when instead you should be looking at the heat output in watts. And to do that, the easiest way is to look at the power consumption in watts because they are pretty close. A 7800X 3D running at 70 degrees Celsius with 50 watts has much different cooling needs than a 1200K also running at 70 degrees Celsius with 140 watts. One is much easier to keep cool even though they are both at 70 degrees Celsius. Here is a comparison cooling a 7800X 3D with a Thermorite PLS Assassin air cooler versus a custom loop with two 360mm radiators. Negligible difference. And here is a 5090 with the stock 360mm AIU that it came with versus a custom loop with three 360 versus a custom loop with three 360mm radiators. Much bigger difference because GPUs are usually way higher power than CPUs, but they still usually run cooler. This is for many reasons. GPUs are usually directed die cool, which means the cooler gets mounted directly on the GPU die itself, while your CPU has an IHS, which is this metal part that you usually see that goes on top of the CPU die, which then the cooler goes on top of it. And this hurts cooling. This is why many enthusiasts delete their CPU and remove the IHS. Another reason is GPUs have a much bigger die than CPUs, which means the heat gets spread across a bigger package, and this helps the cooling temperature absorption shit. Physics, ladies and gentlemen. And lastly, they have giant air coolers. So if if these air coolers are enough for GPUs, why would we bother water cooling them? Just because your CPU runs at a higher temperature than your GPU, it doesn't really mean it needs better cooling. Of course, it's almost always good to give as much cooling as possible, but CPUs can operate normally at a much higher temperature than GPUs. This is why some Ryzen CPUs go to 95 degrees if they are able to and still keep their normal clock speeds. GPUs not only throttle at a much lower temperature than CPUs, your GPU gets to 90 degrees, it's gonna be like... <laughs> But the hotter they get, the slower they become. One of the ways to get your GPU to boost as high as possible is to keep it as cool as possible. But why do people water cool their CPUs instead of their GPUs? Because water cooling your CPU is easier, it looks nice, makes you happy, and water cooling your GPU is scary and expensive as fuck. Because if you mess something up, that is even more expensive because you have to repair it. There are a few GPUs out there that come with an AIO water cooler. You have to be extremely careful with those and do as much research as possible because a lot of them have liquid metal with bare copper coolers. I don't recommend recommend buying those because liquid metal should never be used with bare copper. It has to be nickel plated. When liquid metal interacts with bare copper for too long, they start fusing and chemistry shit and, and then if you ever try to remove the cooler, you're gonna destroy your GPU die completely. Uh, it's not good. The water cooling your GPU is expensive, scary, maybe not really necessary, but definitely not overkill. 